Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. All right, so imagine it's 2 a.m. and you've had a long night out with your friends and then you see it. It's a 24-hour donut shop that's serving up some of the most mouth-watering donuts you've ever tasted. Sound too good to be true? Well, up next, our resident tech expert and Texas Humor founder, JB, takes us on a delicious journey to one legendary establishment that takes the everyday donut to a whole new dimension. Today I'm on Austin's world famous 6th Street where in college I spent a lot of time chasing down cheap beer. But this morning I'm looking for something you wouldn't expect to find in this area, breakfast. Only a few blocks from our beautiful state capital, you'd find the eclectic Voodoo Donut. Let's go. Welcome to Voodoo Donut. Opened in Austin just two years ago, this Portland-based company has been making a name for itself for over a decade, delighting customers far and wide with its funky decor, friendly staff, and of course, its one-of-a-kind assortment of decadent donuts. So we are here inside Voodoo Donut, and I am with Jester, and she is going to tell me a little bit about how you guys got started. Cool. Uh, so we have two owners. So Trace owned this really, really famous uh, venue called X-Ray Cafe, and Cat Daddy was like a wrestler announcer, and they were like two really good friends, and one day they were like, dude, there's no donut shops in downtown Portland. Three years later, they found this little hole in the wall in Portland, and they started making donuts. I don't think that it's a coincidence that y'all are located next to a bunch of bars on the busiest kind Always. of uh, crazy street <laughs> in the city of Austin. So uh, y'all are open 24 hours, is that correct? And uh, what's what's the most like popular type of donut at two o'clock in the morning when all the bars let the crazies out? The old dirty bastard. Okay. It's a chocolate donut with Oreos and peanut butter, okay. and it's everyone's indulgence here. So what what goes into like the creative process in making these donuts? Is there? Oh, I think it's just all of our crazy, unique minds that come together. Every month we have like a special, unique donut that you know either the staff gets to you know have an opinion in, or you know we make these extravagant extravagant centerpieces. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of our own personal creativity that goes into it. Yeah. I saw when I was walking through that you guys had a bunch of uh, LP albums like over yes. on the, mm -hmm. the side. It does, is music an influence at all? I would say that Voodoo is like really um, consumed in pop culture and music. Yeah. Like that is what we are. Cool, so I heard you guys are hiring and might need some extra help in the kitchen. I'd love to try out my hand. Uh, I These hands, I, I can't say, have ever designed a donut before, but I'd like to give it a try. All right, let's so, do it. So uh, can we head back there and do it? Let's do it. Awesome. Yeah. Next up, I headed to the kitchen for a quick lesson on making the perfect voodoo donut. Let's just say I was no pro. So tell me a little bit about how you guys approach the voodoo doll donut. So we have some rules. Okay. Rule one, your voodoo doll can never smile. Okay. Ever. Because right. they're supposed to be sad, they're right. being stabbed. Right. Um, two colors um, and a pretzel stick. Okay, and a the pen. pretzel the pretzel stick is the pen? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So what do most people come in here asking to have put on a voodoo doll? You get a lot of sports teams obviously here in okay. Texas. All right. And then uh, for like Halloween, we turn them into skeletons and like goofy stuff like that. Sometimes you can turn it upside down and like put eyes right here and make a little alien. Okay. You know, girls in bikinis. Okay. You, know, you name it, you can kind of do it. I'm not gonna put any hair because I'm gonna pretend that this person's balding. So I'm just gonna do maybe a swirl on his belly. Unfortunately, voodoo donut making wasn't quite my forte. Yeah, your uh, your technique is a little uh, a little better than mine. Cheers. So, cheers. Can you walk me through some of the other uh, yep. selections that people can buy off the shelf? Like, uh, what's this one right here? So right there you have the Portland cream. You got your dirt, that's the vanilla and Oreo. What the is this one? Marshall Mathers. The Marshall Mathers mm -hmm. covered in M&Ms. Uh, so right there you got your bacon maple bar. Old Dirty Bastard, okay. or ODB, the whatever ODB. you want to call it. What is this um, megaphone that we have here? It's a blunt. A blunt, okay, um, oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, it's a blunt, or if for little kids' birthday parties, ice cream cones. Don't think this is uh, one you guys carry often it seems like y'all may have made it for uh, my visit today, which Maybe. I'm pretty excited about. Okay, so can we dig in? I'm gonna go with this one. That's delicious. Diabetic coma. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One giant sugar rush later, and it was time for me to choose my top three favorites. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm gonna call my top three 
are probably the ODB, the maple bacon, bacon, and I think it's a tie between the Captain, my Captain, and the Blunt. I that, love that, the Blunt. Yeah, it's, it's like fantastic. the perfect amount of donut, especially yeah, all the sweetness going on. Yeah. It's great for That's the uh, donut eater on the run. Yeah, I really appreciate you having me out here. Uh, this is fantastic. I feel like I need to go run around Town Lake uh, yes. and burn off the 9,000 calories that I just ingested. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I really appreciate you awesome. having us through. Yeah, yeah anytime, great. come back. Well, I tried over half a dozen delicious donuts. After all those calories, I think it's time for a run. Next time you're in Austin, though, come try out Voodoo Donut. Want to check out Voodoo Donut for yourself? Visit the link below to learn more.